fearing for her children's safety. A Madison mom has moved her family to a hotel to get away from their new apartment. And Madison police have now declared the property in question a chronic nuisance with 911 calls soaring since the place opened late last year. NBC 15's Elizabeth Wandis joins us now with what life is like at the Meadowlands. Looking at the first quarter of the year, on average, police are called to the Meadowlands almost three separate times every day. I have the data here. 60 calls in January, 56 in February, 100 calls in March alone. And hey, take a look at April 2nd. Eight separate calls in one day. And we're talking calls for things ranging from noise complaints, domestic disturbances, battery, and weapons offenses. A mom of four with one on the way tells me she wants her family out. Hop on. We used to do it real high. On a spring day like this one, there's only one place these sisters want to be. Woo, that looks so scary. <laughs> Making memories under the sun and Mom Takara's watchful eye. You got to lean back hard and kick out hard. In a few months, that's going to get you up higher. There will be a new baby sister to share the fun. My family grew. But lately, I've got a high in the morning. These outdoor playtime memories have been rare. <sighs> this family has been temporarily staying in a place nearby this park ah! as a safe haven from their actual home. It's wrecking my nerves. It's wrecking my nerves because I don't know if I'm going to wake up this day to chaos or calmness. We trying to hit somebody's car. Takara peering out from her window, watching as a group of teens smashes a car with a bat. <laughs> Arguments turning into full-out brawls in the Meadowlands hallways. <laughs> Scenes like this in what's referred to as M-Block, posted to social media. <laughs> Common sights at the Meadowlands on Madison's east side. The 225-unit apartment complex opened last September. Rent ranges from $900 to $1,500 a month. The low-income housing is owned by KCG Companies out of Indiana. KCG got tax credits from the state to build it. They were new, they were beautiful, and stuff like that. Within the first quarter, police received more than 200 calls for service, averaging almost three calls a day. Police are issuing citations and arrests, so the property is now deemed a chronic nuisance. It's stressful. It's, it's stressful. It's scary. So much so, Takara moved her family out of their home and into a hotel. I don't want to be there right now because I'm terrified that my children will be one of the, the innocent ones hit and it's the, because it's so reckless. The root of the recklessness to Takara starts with what she calls bad management. They need to really start communicating, you know. It's kind of like, in a sense, it's bad business. The challenge here is that we have, we have great residents who follow the rules. Kim Hurd with KCG oversees property management throughout the country. Unfortunately, we have a handful who don't. And that is where the problems are stemming from. She says management tried holding a meeting for tenants to address safety concerns, but barely anyone showed up. The response that we got was minimal, right? That's, that's challenging. Heard says they now have weekly meetings with police and city leaders to lessen the disturbances. Nobody wants to be in this situation, right? That's the one thing management and Takara do agree on. I just want out. I, yeah, I just want out. If a family wants to get out of a lease um, for safety concerns, can they do that? What is kind of the line there? How would that work? I think people have different levels of comfort and safety. So we do look at that on a case-by-case -case basis, and we would get our attorney involved. Here you are, take a picture. For Takara, it's time to leave the bad memories in the past. Okay. And focus on making better ones. This is a low-income-based building. I want them to understand that just because it's that don't mean you have to live that way. And that's the most important key. <laughs> As Takara looks at her legal options to get out of her Meadowlands lease, police and city leaders are coming together to try to mitigate the violence. Coming up tonight at 10, from the city side of things, 
Hear what could happen to the property managers if the problems aren't addressed soon. Live in the studio, Elizabeth Wattis, NBC 15 News.